Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Good Thursday evening, everyone. Well, we had quite a variety of temperatures to start the day. Take a look at this. It was relatively calm in our inland valleys and clear. Upper 30s for some of those cooler spots. Even the Santa Cruz Mountains around the upper 30s in some locations. But look at this. San Jose, San Francisco, up to 20 degrees warmer because of those very high winds. So we are right on the cusp between the very strong winds and that kept it mild up towards the north and then the lack of wind in much of our area, which we're grateful for with all of this fire danger weather. Now we are still very dry, not too hot today in many locations. And also, honestly, because of the power outages in Santa Cruz County, some of these numbers may be off a little bit because of some of those sensors not working properly throughout the day. But overall, around 80 degrees for the Santa Cruz Mountains, as well as Santa Cruz itself. Some low 70s for Capitola to Aptos. Inland areas only got into the upper 70s for the Santa Clara Valley. They had a little bit of a breeze there. And then you can see um, lots of 80s. Our warmest temperatures were in the upper 80s for Gonzales down to Greenfield at 87 and 88. And then lots of upper 70s for Marina down to Monterey. A beautiful day, in fact, around the Monterey Peninsula. And the coolest spot, Carmel at 69 and Pebble Beach at 71. Now, taking a look at the red flag warning, we no longer have one in our region. Earlier, we did have them in the Santa Cruz Mountains as well as this, some of the East Bay Hills and the Diablo Range. But now that has come to an end. So winds are dying down in our neck of the woods, but up towards the north as well as Southern California still seeing that danger. Now, I also want to mention the crossfire still burning in northern San Luis Obispo County, southern Monterey County around Camp Roberts, and that is 90% contained. The winds are dying down, so that's great news there as well. Taking a look at the big picture, you can see still seeing a strong north breeze up towards uh, northern California and then this strong offshore breeze in southern California. So the fire danger is not over for much of the state. But as we go into tomorrow, the morning's still going to be a little breezy. We're going to start to see a southwest wind, which is a good thing. Anything coming in from the south or the west is not as dry. So that's going to be good for the central coast. And then everyone starts to see calmer weather by the weekend. It's going to be warm on Saturday. Then this front comes through Sunday and that's going to bring slightly cooler temperatures, but still well above average. Wind speeds right now you can see dying down in some spots still a little gusty and strong up around San Francisco and Northern California and then you can see how dry it is. So this is all part of the concern with fire potential. Anything under 25% relative humidity is when we begin to be on guard and then of course that wind combined with it makes it a very dangerous situation. Temperature is much warmer than yesterday at this time by about 10 degrees, 11 degrees warmer in the Santa Cruz Mountains as well as Carmel Valley as and Big Sur putting you in the 60s. Even some 70s still, 75 right now in Santa Cruz. Now looking at the state view, you can see some mid 70s in the central part of our state. Tomorrow, upper 70s to 80s, so relatively mild inland, but for us, I think we're going to warm even more into the mid 80s. So let's appreciate these warm temperatures if that's what you like. If you like cool, well, head to the Midwest or the North Plains or even the Northeast as this cold front sweeps across the nation. High temperatures in Bismarck, North Dakota tomorrow at 32. So at freezing with snow piled down in those areas, that system's going to sweep across the northern tier of the U.S. and impact um, much of those areas in the next coming days. As for us, for tomorrow, some low 70s to low 80s, mostly sunny, warm temperatures, a little bit of a sea breeze, lighter breeze than today. And we are going to see temperatures right around the 80s for many of those inland spots, slightly warmer in some locations. San Francisco Bay Area, upper 70s to low 80s for tomorrow. Santa Cruz Mountains, some mid 80s, so it looks like you'll be a little bit warmer. Santa Cruz County coastal areas, I think tomorrow will be the warmer day for many of our coastal spots in those low 80s versus Saturday. Saturday, the warming trend, though, continues for our inland spots. So those mid 80s you see today, tomorrow, look like they're going to increase a bit. Uh, by the next few days. So then we'll start to see a cool down. But for tonight, temperature is a little more mild. We do have some uh, clouds moving in, so that'll help to keep us a little bit on the warmer side in the overnight. And then taking a look at your eight day forecast, we've now changed into our winter mode where we take a look at high temperatures for both the coast and inland together, 70s to 80s for much of the week, a little cooler by the start of your upcoming week. And we make that change because there's not so much a difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. We got a couple phone calls. Yes, uh, of course. Week, I, I know, and it always takes a little bit of adjustment, but <laughs> you know, we're always And sometimes the weather cooperates a little bit more than <laughs> yeah. other times. Sometimes. sometimes. <laughs> but speaking of those temperatures,